I went through this with Chrysler and the goddamn plant. Bob White was known as a leader and firebrand in Canada's labor movement. I may get gray hair, but I'll get gray hair fighting the goddamn corporation. Born in Northern Ireland in 1935, White later moved to Woodstock, Ontario. Working at a humble woodworking plant at age 15, White got involved in a labor strike there within his first year on the job. That started his rise through the union ranks, eventually becoming the Canadian director of the United Auto Workers. Years later, in 1984, he fought to split off the Canadian branch to form the Canadian Auto Workers, or CAW, feeling the needs of Canadian workers were being ignored by the larger American branch. That battle cemented White's place as a juggernaut in Canada's labour movement. He was really the best Canada ever produced as it relates to a labor leader. He led fights that people couldn't, that didn't believe that he would win. A fierce opponent of free trade with the U.S. Giving up a tremendous part of our sovereignty. White went on to be elected to the head of the Canadian Labor Congress. His vision was uh, one of equality, where women had the same opportunities and the same uh, ability to advance as men and people of color were were uh, equally uh, able to advance. Even those who ended up at odds with White say they never stopped admiring the man, including former Ontario Premier Bob Ray, who famously butted heads with White over the forced days off of civil servants. He disagreed strongly with me, and, um, and I disagreed with him, and uh, we, we had vigorous debates. But, uh, we never lost respect for each other and certainly never lost affection for each other. The union he founded has become the largest private sector union in the country. I am committed to try and help the working people in Canada get a, a better political, a better economic standard of living and yet try and do it intelligently and carry the respect of our union publicly if that's possible. White was 81. Fez Jamil, CBC News, Toronto.